Hello, 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 and welcome to today's session of the Arcane Academy. I hope you all are excited and ready for session four. It's going to be a very exciting time. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, chat, kind of dreading this one. A lot of, lot of, lot of consequences uh, have been made, and a couple of things have happened, and, well, let's just jump into it shall we i think we should holy oh hello what's that's uh, not even as high as it could be oh yeah hi. hello <clears throat> hi. hello hello so shush me <laughs> no no, shush shush me. The no, no it's okay me. No, no, no. did yeah, i shush you i'm making sure the dm is heard oh thank you uh, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> yes, sir yes sir sir yes sir <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm happy i'm happy we can laugh together Stop. You shut your mouth. I know where that's going. That's a bad opener, Brett. <laughs> Makes me sad. Continue. Don't shut your mouth. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting mixed signals here. <laughs> I don't know what direction we're going here. Uh, I'm just going to start with how we ended the session. Uh, yes. No, not yesterday. Last Thursday. When you all went to sleep after a successful test of defeating the noble and nimble variant of the ink egg, completing the test, uh, you returned back to your bunks, did a little bit of studying, just a little, just, uh, just a little bit of studying, uh, learned a couple of spells. You guys have all gained a level. I, uh, we didn't mention that last session, but you all are level three now. Congratulations. Yes. Oh, okay. And, uh, you went to sleep, uh, restful, excited for what the academy has in store, and then you felt it—the the the sweat, the heat, the the tearing from your very soul, your very being. Oh! As what? you <laughs> woke up in a sweat, in an alarmed sweat. They come to the realization that your familiars are gone. With that, I think we should just immediately start. What, what is, should we go, do you want to go down the list? Do you guys want to respond immediately? What, what is everyone's um, reaction? I mean, you guys have woken up, your, your sheets are just soaked in sweat. What time is it? Uh, so Eleanor would look outside. Uh, and it appears to be mid-afternoon. You've slept all day. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Our Doris is going to get up immediately walk towards the other room in his kind of little pajama robe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, push through like a tremor. What did you do with Oswin? <coughs> I swallowed my waffle backwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I asked. <laughs> Very choked up. Very oh, choked shit, up. Dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but really, what what'd you do? Tremor would go. What? What are you? Wait a minute. And then he's gonna look through the eyes of uh, of Otto. Oh shit. Because he can do that. How, what what do you how do you appear when you're you're looking through the eyes of Otto? Like, do you do anything like visually with your face, or like you put your hand to your head, or like what 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 do you do to to look through his eyes? I think it's just like he's like really spaced out. I don't think his eyes like you know maybe they like, glaze over or something. Like a, but... like a like a daydream is is what yeah. you're saying. Okay. Um, your vision fades for a minute as you look inside. What appears to be, and it's it's all blurry, like a like you've been drugged or you're just extremely drunk. It's just you're it's very foggy. Um, you appear to be in these these like ruins of some kind. You're kind of like loosely looking around as Otto. You see broken wood, um, but the thing that you can hear is the sound of the sea. I don't know if you get, can you hear through? I'm going to say you can hear through them uh, for this one. Mm -hmm. You hear the sound of the sea, the light cawing of seagulls. Um, 
and you look over to what appears to be an unconscious Malcolm with his fiery hair extinguished. And you just see hit almost as if you're in this haze. You almost feel as if Otto is looming over Malcolm. And all you just hear is, oh. <laughs> and then your vision just immediately blacks out at that point. Was that Otto or Malcolm? Uh, you would assume that was Otto. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. But it's okay. like a, it's almost like a pained groan. Okay, okay. But then it, um, it, it blacks out at that point, and you lose Shimmer, immediately lose connection to Otto. Shimmer would come to and uh, see um, uh, Aldoris staring at him, and kind of remember he was just asked a question, and uh, I. They were taken. I think I know where, though. Follow me. I'm, I'm not in the mood for your pranks. I push past him. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> do you let him? Do you let him push you aside, Aldoris? You can't stop him. Okay. All right. That's fair. <laughs> I think. I think you have higher strength than I do. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only on the inside. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. At that point, you kind of see Shiz, um, walk through. And he just kind of looks down a little bit. He he looks over. He, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> ah! He, he's just like, oh my gods! Yeah. He's like, you're you're finally awake. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I'm not in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> You've been out all day. Uh, what what's going on? You, you feeling okay? Trim is pulling a prank on us. I. Well, I I shush Aldoris. Shh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like a squeaky toy. Real quick, what's Gideon up to right now? Uh, Gideon's getting out of bed now, um, and he's gonna go to Tremor. He he strikes me as a groggy waker, you know. Not like... He's he's definitely a little groggy, but usually usually Risk is like on his feet when he wakes mm -hmm. up, so Risk wasn't there. Um. So he's a little bit more alert, but I think he'd just go up to Tremor and be like, Is, uh, do, you, do you still have auto? They're gone. But I think I know where they are. Where? I'd look to Shish. Where's Malcolm? Uh, Malcolm! I literally run up to Shish. Oof. Whoa, whoa, take it easy there. You've been, you've been out all day. You, you look flushed. And what do you mean they're uh. gone? Unlikely. I wake up precisely when I mean to. <laughs> Al, it's the middle of the afternoon. You've been out all night. That's not possible. Oh, unless, unless for some reason you can control time, it's very possible. Where's your familiar, Shish? <sighs> uh, at that point, he whistles. Um out a little bit and then holds out his arm as his sword slug is still pointing yeah. up his arm. Oh. Tremor, what have you done? I didn't do that. What? That sound? He he means taking the familiars. Yeah. Oh. He still it wasn't it. For the last time, it wasn't me. I hey, no. does this. Uh, Please, do you know where Malcolm is? I that's 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 part of everything. Is it, Today has been a very crazy day. We, we're missing students. We're apparently missing some familiars. And Ellie. Oh. And then he just looks down for a moment. What? Kraken. I'd like you to roll a 1d20, please. Uh, oh, boy. Ellie's the deaf girl, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Decide her fate. <laughs> oh. Did that go through? Uh, no, it didn't. Mm -hmm. You can I also slash. On, you can also, well, I mean, you could also slash roll one d twenty in the in the chat. In the in the roll twenty chat, so we can all see it. Too. It's gonna be a natural twenty. Yeah, and that means she's dead. Oh! Oh, oh my god! Oh, boy, that's. <laughs> 
Mm. Wow. Holy shit. I rolled I rolled first on fucking Beyond 20 and it was a 13. Oh boy. <sighs> but we didn't see it, Crank. Tell us to it straight. Tell us tell us it straight. <sighs> DM. One so warm. He Oh god. Shiz just it just looks down. And he's like, I don't know what happened, but there was apparently some sort of mix up over at the test yesterday. Bro, oh, hell, no freaking oh, way. Oh my god. My fucking god. <gasps> Ellie and a couple of the other students, they, for some reason, they went down the wrong path, the, the, the path they weren't supposed to. And by the time the mages got to them, they. They were already dead. <gasps> Not now, she's. Eldorus doesn't really understand what's going on. He's looking in the boxes for his there. Uh... Oh. Uh, Trimmer will sit oh. down, kind of shocked on the bed. I don't know what happened. They, there's rumors that there's some foul. There's been some foul play. Poor Ellie. I. She didn't deserve that. And you see Shiz just kind of breaking up a little bit as he's looking towards Gideon. Wow. Shimmer won't say anything. Yeah, I think the problem... I don't know if... I don't even think Gideon says anything because Gideon knows. I think, like, Gideon just takes a step back from both Shiz and Tremor. Oh. Man, dude, this is dark. <laughs> I, uh... Mm. It's, it hasn't been a good day. We, we lost some students and three students have just completely vanished, disappeared. And yeah, Malcolm and, and Nigel are two of them. The school's looking for them all over the place, but we can't seem to find them. Meanwhile, the f apparently a few familiars have disappeared. You're saying you're missing yours too? Yes. Uh, uh, risk. I can't find risk anywhere. I, I think Malcolm, I think Malcolm has to has something to do with it. He has to. Well, if he does, he's not here now. Neither is Nigel, the poor kid. And then someone else has gone missing as well. I, uh, uh his, his, what was his name again? It was, it was a kid younger than Nigel. I don't know why we haven't heard of him till now. I guess the school was kind of keeping him a secret. Uh, I think his name was like Alice or something. And uh, we've got students missing. We've got familiars missing. And we've lost some lives. And I just... It's just been a rough day. And Shiz will just kind of go over and sit down. Whew. He'll uh, look up. Uh, what is, um, what's Tremor looking like right now? Uh, he's just kind of completely lost in thought. He's just kind of staring him forward. <sighs> I, he's not crying. He's not, like, reacting really to anything. He's just kind of blank. I think Shiz would just put a like a hand over on your shoulder, saying that how you're like visibly shaken, and just he's like, I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it too, Tremor. I'm feeling yeah. it too. Tremor's like permanently got like a smug smirk on his face, and this time it's just gone. There's no, there's no like he knows best. Like he, it's he's completely shaken to his core. Like you're going through a lot, kid. It's it's understandable. What what you're feeling is normal. He gets up and goes back to his room. Let him go. I think the kid might need some time. We need to figure out what happened to your familiars. <sighs> We need to check in Eleonora. Maybe her familiar is safe. Maybe maybe she's fine. Yeah. 
Let's go ahead. We need some good news. Let's go ahead and check up on her. Tremor, uh, Tremor, we're going to Eleonora. Come with us. Tremor doesn't respond. Oh. <sighs> um. Oh, what would Gideon do? This is so hard. Leave him be. I, I, I think the kid's going to need some time. I don't think it wise that he stay alone right now. Uh, Tremor. Tremor, listen, we can't... We can't save Ellie now. We can't change the things that have been done. We, ha we have to find our familiars. We have to find Otto. He and pushes risk. past Gideon and he leaves the dormitory. I'm going to message you what he's doing. Ooh. Okay. Damn. I, uh... Just let's leave him be. Ah, Gideon, like, kicks the bed. Let's see what's going on with Eleonora, Gideon. Maybe there's some um, good news in this after all. <laughs> um, Al, what are you doing? Uh, where Shiz? Is it Shiz? I always get his name wrong. It's Shiz. 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 Where Shiz sat down, sat down on his bed, he's casting Prestidigitation. Mm -hmm. To clean it off, like <laughs> meticulously, <laughs> does not like him sitting on his bed. Oh! And then, uh, and then he's gonna follow them in silence, kind of making little kind of sounds of an. Kind of I'm worried. <laughs> Poor buddy. Al, 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 you doing okay? Uh, uh, tremors, tremors misplaced. I'll win again. I'm, I'm worried. He's, he's put him some ways. It's... Otto's got him. Al. 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 It's... It's not Tremor. I'm I'm almost certain of it. Oh, no, 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 no. Because I, I went to bed and he was there. And, um, he doesn't... He doesn't wander off. He does, he's good. Uh, he doesn't wander off. I... He's, as Shish would just kind of put his hand on Al's shoulder at that point And just state. And just... With a with like kind of like a like a like a faint smile, as if trying to keep his, his pos like try to keep positive during this like dark time, um, he goes, oh, "Buddy, you you got a loyal familiar, and I don't think Tremor is the kind of character that would just just familiar nap your your buddy." Huh. But but I promise you this. We're gonna figure this out together. Okay? You have my word. I won't leave your side until we find your familiar. Until we find Oswin. Okay? Mm, uh, okay. But Good. If it's happened to Helenora, then. Well, then we got a serious issue. But at least we'll have a pattern. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. You follow? <sighs> okay. Um, Tremor has gone off. He is doing his own thing currently. Uh, I'll message a couple of things to you, Tremor. For now, though, um, we're gonna head back into the the female dormitory where going through the same events we're gonna have uh i would say yeah eleonora <laughs> you would mm -hmm. just have just woken up okay same thing in a sweat <gasps> it's the middle of the afternoon <clears throat> um Br brune bush is alarmed and just like jolts up as if she was kind of like Half asleep as well, sitting in, on a chair or uh, sitting right by your bed. Eleanor is gonna immediately leap out of bed and grab Brimbush by the collar and be like, "Where is she? Where's Lumi?" Like shaking her. Uh, calm, calm down, Eleanor. Uh, I can't calm down. Where is my familiar? I know she's gone. Where uh, is she? What do you mean? Where's your familiar? You've been you've been asleep all day. I was worried about you. She's gonna like over collar and kind of walk away, like unfazed by her words, and start skittering around the room. Lumi, Lumi. What? She's what? gonna look under beds and under tables. Had Lumi's gone missing? 
Yes, she's gone missing. Can't you tell? Uh, I I can't. I, I I I was too worried about you. I'm sorry. I uh I. And then you see Brunbush is like flustered, trying to think. He's like, yeah, "Was she here? No. I uh, I I woke up this morning. I got breakfast. There was a uh, an assembly. I I you were still asleep. You seemed very ill. I didn't. Uh, uh, I'm what, sorry. What, what time I, is it? Two, three in the afternoon. All the classes have been canceled. Students have died and have gone missing. Classes have been canceled until further notice. What what do you mean students have died? What? Uh, I don't know. Mix up with the test. A couple of students went down the wrong way and uh, they weren't strong enough. They perished. Realization kind of uh, washes over Eleonora, but it's probably too quick for Burnbush to have noticed or caught it. But she kind of yeah. Burnbush is too flustered like... to notice, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Uh, and then we've been ter- told that there's been students missing, and no one can seem to find them. There's Do you have been... your familiar? And he, uh, she nods, uh, and she holds up. Uh, what is essentially like a giant pill bug in her hand. Oh, that's <laughs> mm-hmm. precious. I still have mud ball, yes. Oh, so cute. And, she, and uh, she immediately, like instinctively, without hesitation, hands oh, you God. mud ball. Uh, I know oh, no. it is not Lumi, but it could give you a bit of comfort during these trying times. She kind of looks at it with disgust and, uh, and like puts out her arm, her like hands to hold Mudball for a second, but then immediately withdraws it and is like, This is ridiculous. I, I need to find Lumi. I, I, I appreciate your comfort, but I, mm. I, I'm nothing without my familiar. I mean, I, I'm a mess. Look at me. That's not true. However, I will help you find Lumi. I do not like it when Eleonora is sad. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Besides, Maybe she's just be, run besides, off. Uh, mm. And she looks down as if hesitant and then mentions uh, unlikely. Something must have happened. And we will find out what that is. Okay. <sighs> She, like, closes her eyes, trying to collect herself, and, like, uh, pushes down her skirt, making sure she looks presentable. Um, It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. At that point, um, Gideon and Al, feel free to walk Um, through. Al Doris would not enter uh, the women's dormitory. (laughs) He stands outside. (sighs) A little too breaky. Shiz would would be going in and see Al hesitant. Uh, Al, it's I'm fine. That. No, it's against the rules. Uh. <laughs> hey! I'll wait outside. Is it okay if Al comes in? You hear shit no, they... from outside. No. Y- yes, there's... Y- you've no, been given permission. You know, like a vampire. Come on, get in there. <laughs> oh Holy fuck. Not one of those. No, I'm quite all right. I'll wait outside and shout from here. Uh, Gideon's just gonna push past Al and Shij uh, and call out, Eleonora, Eleonora, I- I- is your familiar with you? No, is yours? No, uh, all of ours are gone. It, Tremors run off somewhere. He... <sighs> did he take them? Did you hear about the students? The yes, dragon? yes, we did. Uh, I think that's why Tremor ran off. I don't know what's going on with him, uh, but but I think Malcolm has something to do with this. He has to, he's been he's been out for us the whole time. I, I, we have to find him. Is that familiar gone? Yes, yes. Alan Familiar! That's <laughs> <Go on. laughs> so cute. That's what happened. Al, just come in here, Al! Uh, Shish would grab Al by the arm and drag him in. Oh, hell yeah. He kind of holds his breath as if going underwater. Oh <laughs> so absurd. <sighs> um, Brunbush would immediately turn over to Al being dragged in. Who's the squeamish one? (gasps) 
Andorus Valerian? Er, Brunbush. What? My name is it's... Brunbush. Oh. Okay. Uh, Brunbush, you... uh, was your familiar taken too? No, I have Mudball right here, and she holds up the giant pill bug. Oh. This and feels I... targeted, like extremely targeted. Well, you're not the only one that lost the familiars. Who else? Should? Nigel. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Al's dealing with some trauma right now. His mind's not working right. It's fine. <laughs> Who lost the familiar shish? Uh, 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 I believe Crotech. Who? Uh, he's the Warforged that you guys. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. you. You're the spider, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Crotech. Uh, also lost his familiar. Well, do you know where he is? Uh, I, he went to go ahead and find the teachers to let him know. And the troubling part is he's been gone ever since. When was that? This morning. Um, well, that's not good. I no, mean, it's, no, it's not. What are we waiting for? We need to go. Go where? Where do you want to go? Uh, Sorry. That I don't know. Shish. No, that's Shish. That's Shish. <laughs> that's Shish. That's Shish. We have to tell the headmistress. No. Yeah, I, obviously. I, would, I wouldn't advise it. I don't Why? trust them. Because no, I Cro do. Crotech <laughs> has gone missing. He went ahead and told the teachers and the headmaster, and now he's gone. Well, maybe they're using him for the investigation. They're using him for the investigation? Are you listening to yourself, Al? You want to be used for an investigation? That helps get Oswin back? <sighs> I don't know. Why would... The what, what are you implying is going on here with the school? I mean, it's preposterous, really. My parents would not send me to a school that sabotaged its students and took their familiars. Okay, okay. Let's go and review what has happened today, okay? Five familiars that we know are just gone. Completely missing. We're missing three students, and three students are dead. And the school hasn't announced any of it. They've just shut down the classes, say we stay in the living areas, and don't don't head outside. And maybe meanwhile, we should do that. Meanwhile, the teachers have said nothing. Absolutely nothing. And Crotech went ahead to let them know that his familiar's gone, and now he's gone. I might be a little paranoid here. Right. But I don't trust it. Brett, well, last, no, last, sorry. no, no, go ahead, go, Joe. No, you go, you go, you go. I just wanted to ask, last week when we bumped into um, Malcolm and mm -hmm. Nigel, yes. was there anyone else? Was Shiz with them? Shiz was, or was with just them. them too? Shiz was, Shiz with, was them. with them. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this then. Mm. He's the one from their party that has nothing wrong. Yeah, that's a bit odd, huh? Yeah. Hey, Shiz, you, you, were, you were pretty close. You, you, you took on the test last week in the dungeon. With, with Malcolm and, and Nigel. Yo, I'm still shaken. I am still shaken that the two people I took that test with are now missing. You don't find that kind of odd? What do, what do you what do you think? Do you think I'm in in some kind of danger? Uh, that that yeah, maybe you're in some kind of danger. Yeah, you can inside check too, by the way, if you. Don't believe him. Oh yeah, if you if you distrust him, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I definitely one hundred percent distrust him. Oh yeah, we insight. should insight check him. Yeah, absolutely, okay. insight check him. See if he's lying. I, I just took out my dice, but I'm supposed to use D and D Beyond. <laughs> you uh, love that. Okay. Uh, insight, insight. Okay. Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. So from what you can tell, um, he's he's frightened. Um, he's a little unsettled and frightened um, from the events that are happening. But the moment that you mentioned that he could be in some kind of danger, it, it's it's more of a natural fright because now he genuinely feels like his life is in danger. But other than that, you don't uh, sense any sort of deceit from Shiz. Okay. I, I just I, you should keep a look out of your shoulder, just just like the rest of us. We've lost our familiars. You could be next. I think we should all keep a lookout uh, uh, for each other. Oh, Look. Notice who's not here. Tremor. Tremor. He's involved. <laughs> Tremor's pretty shook up, I think, about Ellie's death. What? Ellie he dying? What? The, the, yeah. Did you hear what I said before, Al? 
Three students died wow. yesterday. Three? Because of a mix-up in the halls with the buckets and being switched. She's going to look at him very pointedly, like... When? You mean when? Oh, no. Mm. I think we should get going, yes? Look, yes. I think we need to find our own way to find your familias. I don't think we should trust the students or or the teachers. So trust no one is what you're saying. Trust us. What if we get a, what if but we get ourselves. Expelled? I think what? that's the last of our concern right now, Adoris. Last of our concern. Well, Doris, Al. students have died. The teachers yes. have done nothing. I'd rather die. Then what? <laughs> expelled from the school. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Al, this could be a good educational moment. A great wizards ah. did more than just read books. You're I'll not going to get expelled, all right? He's not going to like this next idea. We wait in our dorms and we, we wait for the teachers to come and tell us what to do next. N no. We go to the library and we head to the forbidden section and see if we can find something like this. That is forbidden. Yeah. It is, Al. But, if you want to see Oswin, it might be our best shot. She's just right. Let's go to the library. It's a I test, agree. Isn't it? What did you say? You're right. Yes, that door is with the test. Yes, that is what is happening. Ah, and so the forbidden section we shall go. Yes, you need to be clever enough to find your familiar. So let's do that. <laughs> mm. Very snaky by them. He heads up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're going to change scenes to Tremor, who has already entered. The Forbidden Ooh, Archives. Nice, Ooh. dude. Small uh, cricket. Uh, well, yeah. Um, Tremor, since it's been a minute, how how what what's what's going on in Tremor's mind currently? Um, I'm not sure if I'm ready to share all of that yet. Okay, uh, you don't you don't have to share it. You can keep. I'd that say yourself. he is. Probably, if I had to explain, like, the different steps of grief, he'd probably be in, like, bargaining right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I'm, I'm, I'm getting... We're going to kind of go over to what you're doing when you first entered the archives. Um, when Tremor enters the library... I'm assuming you're kind of like trying to like plan how we're gonna how are you gonna get to the 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 forbidden archives how you're exactly you're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, you would see that the library is pretty much empty, um, but Madam Hush is also not behind her desk. Oh shit! So, do you like how any sort of hesitance? Are you just like waltzing right nope. into the okay without pausing? He's just gonna that's, walk right in. That's what I thought. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and get the map loaded up. Also get you a light because it is a dark area. Uh, you would have easily fa uh, acquired a lantern or a candle uh, to light your way since you do not know the light spell. So I'm going to real quick. I'd use the lantern. Yeah. Okay. Um, just going to get this lighting up. Uh... One moment. And then go ahead and start getting the the music going for this area. Yep, that's the one. How uh checking in, how's everyone feeling? Mm -hmm. This is great. Yeah. 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 I am also. I was. I was hoping for something just like this. I uh, big consequence. <laughs> well, it, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll talk more about that later. But uh, 
I'm I'm pretty I I I'm with you guys. I'm pretty I, I'm pretty Shook. crushed. I'm pretty crushed right now too. Oh man. All right. Let me see if I can get this over here. Do you see a light source? Yes. Okay, I, I don't see too. a light source, so now I'm going to... Boom! All right, there you go. Whee! I can explore without you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feel free to take that light with you if you can do that favor yeah. for me. Uh, you enter the Forbidden Archives. The bookshelves themselves seem pretty much abandoned, almost. Uh, a couple of dusty shelves uh, cobwebs litter the area um, this area appears to be have been abandoned for quite some time um, um, he would first try to figure out what the sorting system is and what section he's in okay as well as uh, you know to find what he's looking for okay um so you would spend some time exploring the exploring the the forbidden archives um probably it's probably gonna be at this point like half an hour i would say just like just like sorting through everything kind of looking through books a lot of them just seem to be very loosely fitted you know whatever um you do find a book hold on one second please Called. I might have to upload the book. Give me one second. Sorry about that. Oh boy. Yeah, give me one moment. Sorry, I'm. I've got no. no I've got no organization. Uh. Okay. I might have not made this book okay. Uh, but you do find a, a a book that seems to be uh sealed with a with a circle. Kind of like what you saw before. What did I see before? With the uh with the uh the pack of the wolf spell book. Hmm. Where it may need like a, a rune of some kind to open. Does it uh can I read like the the binding to see what it's labeled or it is an unlabeled book. All right. I'd put that under my robe and I'd keep searching to see if I can find anything else. Okay. Uh, go ahead and continue searching. So you can, like, look around the library. I don't know. Am I going, like, actual bookshelf by bookshelf or do you want me to go just like You sections? can just move around. You can just move around until you find something interesting. Because you will find something interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Monka S, dude. Oh, you'll find something. You'll all find something. What? <laughs> uh, Tell me to stop whenever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, you'll find something. Oh, here, yes. Um. All right, no, we're good, we're good. Okay, yeah, keep going, sorry. Um, I look down this hallway. Uh, this hallway gives you a chill. I continue. It is surprisingly quiet. A chill just completely covers you as you continue to to walk around. Can I locate? Is there like a direction of the chill? Uh, I'll let you know as the colder that you get. And you're, you are definitely getting colder. What the hell is that? It's like hot and cold, but the opposite. Yeah. You're freezing as you colder. look at the pile of books. <laughs> Most of them burned and scorched. I, I look through the books. Uh, you find a letter with some notes. A written note. There it is. You also find uh, a, a book or a spell called Death's Grasp. And you find a book in the pile called... One second. All the books didn't upload, so I'm having a little bit of trouble. 
Uh, Are some of them like burned so they're only half readable, or what's the? They're they're like no, they're like completely scorched, like completely charred. But these are the ones okay, that so... you can actually read. Through okay, that are. Complete... are... Or yes. Eligible. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you also find uh, a book labeled "Making Friends Through Magic." I'm going to give you the written note. Uh, did I upload? Okay, there it is. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, should I? I shouldn't read this aloud, or do I? Should I? Uh, you can you can you can read it aloud if you'd like, or okay. you can keep it quiet. I'm showing it to everyone right now. So deep underneath the academy is the Exodus Labyrinth, a set of catacombs that has existed in these mountains for a lot longer than the school. They say this is a place where students may train their new magics, but I'm not buying it. These catacombs reach deep underneath the mountain, probably some sort of old dwarven fortress of long ago, before the gnomes came and wiped the majority of them out. Underneath, oh god, I remember that. Underneath, <laughs> <laughs> underneath, though, but through. Underneath, though, between the folds of reality is said to be a room that houses the power of a, of a djinn. If you stand in the center and think real hard about a wish, you are said to be shown the way to achieve it. The unfortunate finding, however, is the fact that the room is only located in a sort of dimensional fold. The only riddle I've been able to discover is this. Deep underground in the circular room, the elf shall guide you. E-L-F. What could this possibly mean? Mm -hmm. uh, Tremor will tuck that into his robes as well. Uh, um, you begin to hear the sound of footsteps enter of someone entering the archives. Uh, I would. Can I can I lower the light of my of my lantern? Uh, yeah, you can. So I would douse it a little bit, but I think I would keep searching. Um, this pile and okay. the the vicinity until unless I heard them coming down this corridor then I'd probably just turn it off completely and hide. Okay. Uh, let's head on over here. Uh, if so, so uh, the party, when you guys are coming in with the light spell, mm -hmm. uh, who's got the light? Me. Right, I think I'm the only one who knows light in our group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a valuable spell. All right, feel free to, to 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 bring yourselves in here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, Shizzle also step in, and he's just he's he's kind of looks a little 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 shaken right now. Uh, and Brunbush also is like not even being silent. She's just literally stomping through. Um. <laughs> Be careful, Eleanor. You might trip and fall and hurt yourself. I'll be fine. Please. What do you think Madam yes. Hush went? I don't care. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Uh, How amazing this place is. You feel free to control the light, uh, Eleanor. Okay. So why is this place forbidden? It is completely empty. Uh, by the way, Al, you totally, or not Al, uh, uh, Tremor, you can totally hear Shiv, Shiz talking extremely <laughs> loud as they're walking <laughs> through this. Um, oh, real quick, I forgot to ask, how recently does it seem like these books were burned? Ooh, go ahead and make mm. a... <sighs> make an investigation check. Ooh, nice. Ah. Very mm. recently. Probably mm. days ago. I've heard this place is like an archive. Part of the mystery. Yeah. I would say. In indeed, but where but but where's all the all the books? Exactly. Have some sort of incantation to hide them? I have no idea. Which way should we go? Down this hall? Uh at this point, I I, I do want to ask Tremor. Mm -hmm. um, you hear, you can tell who's coming. What do you do? Um, I think he would, in a hurry, try to get 
anything else he can get in this area okay. before they arrive. So I don't know if I was able to check these like before yeah. they showed up. So the the shelves themselves are pretty empty. The only things that okay. you've been able to gather is what I what I gave you, which was the the gotcha. book about how making friends with magic, as well as the written note and the spell, uh, simply labeled Death's Grasp, as well as um, the uh, the book that seems to be sealed by by something. So, last thing I was gonna check. Can I get anything out of the burned? pages of some of these books even if it's like partial information or just titles i just want to know what information didn't make it and tremor is the type that if he can get even a piece of it he would try to finish it himself even if it it's dangerous right uh roll a d20 we will let fate decide it didn't go so well last time um okay you find a as you're going through the burnt pages uh you find a torn up old book with a very badly burned page however within that page you will only see a name and it's labeled headmaster demetrius valiansworth okay and that's all you um, find that's the only part of that page that is legible yes is it like a header or is it just like a word it's a it's a, it's like a signature Oh, okay. That's good to know. Okay. Um, fuck, what would he do? Uh, I think, actually, he would try to sneak down to the bottom of this room. Um, trying to stay out of line of sight. So, if they were to look down this hallway, I don't know if they'd be able to see any light, or if it, it's just too dark in between, but he would have it doused, like, okay. to this degree. I, mean, I don't know how to actually lower it, but it'd be, like, this low as he, like, tries to explore it down here all right this is as low as you can get it okay um all and, right yeah so everybody else with that mm -hmm. what are you what are you doing um do we go down mm. the spooky hall or no did we feel a chill or was the chill non-chilling uh Get, yeah, you know what, Gideon, you do feel a slight chill. There's something down here. And Gideon will start walking down. What? Be careful, it might be hush. And then we're <laughs> in for some trouble. The librarian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you said, like, all these shelves are basically empty? Yeah. Okay. I've been like purposely walking uh -huh. alongside of them, waiting for something to happen. <laughs> Al, you fall into the darkness. Wait, what? Keep up. Am I not keeping up on your screen? No. I was, I was here. I'm here. I'm here for me. I can't even beep. Oh, there you are. Yeah, there, there you are. There you are. Uh, you still you fe feel the same thing, the same cold chill. <laughs> what is that? Are those books? And you see the burnt yes. pile of books. And I know our stay in front of me. Uh, uh, why? Eleanor, <laughs> stay oh. in front of me. <laughs> so brave. <laughs> in case there's something dangerous down there. Uh, you're pathetic. Oh my god. Why not I'll stay in front of you? What do you see, Gideon? Uh. I think these are all the books that were on the shelves, I would I would surmise. Our door is gonna hold his hand over his mouth and turn away like he's feeling sick. Oh no. <laughs> do I do I notice all the that? lost knowledge? <laughs> would I notice that? Uh he's what's not your, subtle. What's he's oh, not subtle? Then okay. yes, no. then, then yes, he <laughs> totally would have, yeah. Uh, please. Are you, are you going to be sick? What's going on? 
This archive is irreplaceable. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. It's it's okay, Aldoris. It's fine. I'm sure someone took down the necessary info. Or the, this is part of the you know the the quiz that you you know test. It's not yeah. A quiz. Yeah, test. yeah, the quiz. Right, test. It. I'm I'm sure this is part of it. I'm sure. Oh, they no, it. it's more than that. Look at that. Who would ban books willingly? I don't know, monster, really. But that's besides the point. Uh, can I investigate the pile to see if there's anything there? Uh, yes, you can. I think Gideon would. Did that go through? You shouldn't have come! Ooh. Everyone roll initiative. What? Ooh. That's wow. scary. <laughs> uh -oh. that I'm at the back. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I didn't click, I didn't click oh, on the Jesus, look at our initiative. There we go. Can't wait for Tremor to come running out of the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> just get hit by magic missile. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding, it was me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it was you, Tremor. If, if Tremor wasn't going through a big character moment, he would have totally done that <laughs> to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before that, though, Brett, do I find anything down here? Uh, n no, you don't. The entire section has been pretty cleaned much out. cleaned out yep okay so uh, that one book with the rune is the only one i found on the shelf yes Weird. this place okay. has been completely cleaned out uh you see an apparition manifest itself and it appears Ooh. to have the face of madam hush oh that's Ow. pretty cool yeah Haunted school wasn't real. I'm scared. You should be. <laughs> she says to Bree <laughs> and not Eleanor. I'm behind you. My pants. <laughs> oh, Madam Hush. <laughs> uh, Does he actually think that's her? <laughs> I think I've already said shit. Looks pretty similar. <laughs> uh, no, he's gonna see through it. He's a. Oh, he can't get past now. <laughs> I can't fucking oh get past now. Yeah, she knows Eleanor took a third book. Yeah, yeah. that's the whole reason. Yeah, for this. that's the reason for this. <laughs> I'm, I'm in trouble. You this is the punishment. You my books. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey, what happened there? Okay, hold on. Give me one moment, please. Sorry. No worries. We'll give you two. Three, even. Oh. Okay, don't push it. Mm. I do whatever I want, actually. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so <laughs> <slow combat. laughs> God damn it. Okay. Uh, Brett, I'm assuming that Gideon didn't have a chance to find anything else in the in that pile before the ghost came with a 22 investigation. Um, no, that, uh, Gideon. But that, but we will keep that roll. Okay. All right, getting the rolls. Ignore the advantage. That seems to be the default. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. Did I press initiative? No, I did dexterity. My bad. Here we go. You already did initiative. It was 15. For Brunbush? Yeah, she's in yeah. the, uh, yeah. she's in the queue. The oh, she's she right after No, for, for Brunbush, guys. The orc. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. There she is. <laughs> What's she like? She's uh. cute. And then... All right. I hope she has, like, a summoned battle axe or something. Oh, hell yeah. So dope. Uh, shish. All right. Uh, so it looks like Gideon, you would go first. Uh, I don't know exactly how this works, but I'm going to move five, ten. Can I share a space with Al? Uh, you can't end a space with Al. Okay. Can I, can I, but you can move through his space, correct. 
as, if he if he lets you. Oh. Okay. All right, I'm gonna move through you. And that cost, does that cost an extra five feet of movement? No, 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 no. no. It's, it's oh, okay. You can cool. share. You can use the space. You just can't end it, end your turn in his space. Gotcha. So if I were to stand on his space and use acid spray, I would could stand in front of him. Mm, and then you would have to. I would. I'd want you to move off his space before you cast. His okay. Spell. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna cast acid spray. Okay. New yeah. spell alert. Wait, yeah, that, didn't, that didn't roll. I, did, she, I guess I just. She roll. has to do a dex save. Oh, and that's right. Roll, yeah, yeah, yeah. You roll three d eight. Uh, you acid. manifest and, and hack out a line of acid. Right out of your mouth. Right what? out of your mouth. Uh, ignore the advantage. Is sixteen. You know, enough. Kids. Yeah. So half go. Damage. Half damage. damage. Yep. Ooh, that's still pretty good. Damn. That's eight points of damage. Nice. Uh, and then I'm just gonna step off to the side. Uh, she appears to have resisted a section of the uh, acid. Hmm. Hmm. Fun. Oh, my turn. Uh, all right. Next up is Shish, who just goes, uh, is that, is that the librarian? Now what's left of her? Do we, do we kill her? I mean, I'm not really sure what we should be doing here. I don't think she's giving us much of a choice, but. Uh, uh, all right then. And then uh, he will cast magic missile. Let's see if he's mastered it. He hasn't. <laughs> oh, fucking shiz. Uh, dealing 11 points of damage. Pog. Uh, after that is no. Madam Hush. No. Who will, who will just kind of like glide over here. Oh, God. <sighs> One second. Oh. Uh, and she will trail over and give a chilling touch over to Al. Oh no, poor guy. Is that a, a save or is it an attack? Does a 14 break your armor class? It does, but I would have casted shield as a reaction. Okay. So as it comes in, you just see, comes up the shimmer. <laughs> you just see the spec the spectry touch try and pierce through the shield and it just deflects off as she kinda like retracts back. Take your hands off me, you ghostly apparition. Al, how do you respond? <laughs> May drama. He raises his hands across himself. Ah, goes, yes. Oh, I'm just gonna start appearing across him. Oh my god. The, the, the turtle defense. I love it. Yeah. Yep. A true snail. Uh, Eleonora. All right. Uh, she's going to put on a brave face, step forward, and try to give this banshee the more dome handshake. <gasps> nice. Mm. The Same. old rough and tumble. Yes. So. Oh, oh, 19 oh, points of damage. Oh. Well, you have to roll the hit first. You have to roll the hit yeah. first, yeah. Wait, how do I roll to hit on it? It don't have it's that. It's a d20 plus. Uh, your attack modifier, which would be uh, where? <laughs> it should be uh, like your spell attack, yeah. Proficiency plus it's, thing, yeah. Every five, yeah, plus five. So I think I also think five. if you click the spell, it rolls an attack roll for you. I'm not entirely it should. Um, unless you have it in your attacks. Uh, let me try what? it. Nope. Okay, yeah. Roll one d twenty and add your spell attack modifier. Okay. Uh, so, 17? Yep, it, yep, 17. That hits. Awesome, so 19 damage, yeah? Uh, or do you I'll want to roll it. the damage again? Why would I roll the damage? I respect the hustle. You know what? I, I'm going to have you roll it again. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, no way. Either, no. either this is what you have to rule. It's DM's rules. Final. Okay, all right, all right. So here's 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 the thing. Here, here's the thing. We need to determine right now if you roll your damage before your attack roll, you take the first roll no matter what, or you have, you have to roll damage when the only the attacks are successful. I think, I think you have to roll an order. a really order. specific situation where I thought it was going to be a, a DC save. 
Okay, so I, I would say, so oh. for, for this ruling, whatever damage roll you roll first is the damage roll of that attack that you've linked to, whether you, you miss or hit. So you can't be like, oh, I rolled a one. Oh, but I forgot to roll the attack roll. And then I rolled the attack roll. And now I'm going to roll my damage again because it actually, I didn't mean to do, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I get that. Whatever you decide here is going to be how that, it goes that's, from now on. That's how I don't we do it from now on. for everyone. I'll just roll d20 again. No, no, no. I, it's, I, it's, it's up to you. I prefer attack roll first. Just okay, so we I'm going to roll sure. a d20 again. Okay. 16. Nice. Still good. Still, Still good. good. Still good. Uh, um. <laughs> let me see real quick. Oh, whoops. I'm looking at the wrong token. Okay. Minus, yeah, so you do 16 points of damage and she appears to be a little uh, resistant towards your lightning, but that there's still damage that have gone through. Pog. All right. Tremor. Uh, what can I tell corner. is happening? Huh? What can I tell is happening? Like well, you've heard, you heard the loud whisper uh, and now you hear spells uh, going off around the corner. Um, are these like see-through uh, bookshelves? Like, can I you see can, through the side? You can peek side? through the shelves. I would, I, I would say, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. I move to here because that's as far as I can get. Okay. And then I would look out and see what's happening. Um, and I think after a moment of hesitation, he would cast magic missile from where he is, not like walking out, so they can okay. see who, where it's coming from. But you would just see four magic missiles come out from. Suddenly, from the it's darkness, shadows. you see magic missiles just pierce through as they strike at the, uh, at Madame Hush. Back up! Let's, let's see it. Last one. Uh, yeah. so 11 points of damage. She recoils. Ah! 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 <laughs> um all right is that in your turn yep at this point uh brunbush in a in a it just unabashedly just charges straight through knocking al aside <laughs> ah! and she holds out her hands and claps cl uh claps them together as a fiery battle axe Manifest from itself. I called it, bro. And oh. then clashes it down uh, violently up upon Madam Hush. That hits. Ooh. For seven points of fire Damn. damage before the rolls of one d twenty two. As the axe then disappears uh, upon oh. the strike. She literally has the same spell as you, Bree. Oh shit! But nice. it, it's fire instead of lightning. Yeah. Uh, she seems to be resistant against the fire. Uh, but not force damage, I assume? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, the, no, the, the magic missiles seem to be have, have full effect. Uh, Gideon, it is your turn. Uh, I'm going to move a bit away so that I can cast magic missile, but not at disadvantage. Okay. Right? Oh, that's not a thing, right? Oh, you said, was that with this campaign? Range magic, attack? magic missile does not roll to hit, so you can hit, cast Damn it from anywhere. Yeah. True, yeah. yes. Okay, okay. Yep. Um, thank you. All right, I'm going to roll my damage. Uh, 16. 16, yeah. 16? Okay. She takes the full hit. Ha! <sighs> Very nice! Uh, she appears to be dissipating. Or Shiz is like, uh, are we doing this? <laughs> is he, I mean, he's, he's, he's about to cast to magic to missile. With her. <laughs> uh, um, I'm gonna roll a 1d20 and, and see if Shiz hesitates for his turn. Oh, god. Uh, so oh, pussy bitch, so oh, pussy bitch. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think I want to murder a teacher. He holds his turn. Stand aside. <laughs> this is all part of the test. <laughs> 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 Kills every student. Uh, <laughs> she looks up. That's 
and lets out a piercing wail. Ah. <laughs> Ow. Uh, everyone except Tremor. I need a constitution saving throw. Oh, this is my, this is my jam. Oh, oh yikes. <laughs> Chunky boy. Uh, I can come. <laughs> what? Because he's got so much wax Ew. in his ears. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Uh, so for everyone that failed, which is Eleonora, Eleonora, your hit points have dropped to one. Oh, as a, as mm. a haunting presence has sapped away your life force. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and to everyone else you failed, uh, you all take 13 points of psychic damage. What, you mean that succeeded? Failed, or, or succeeded? that succeeded, that succeeded, excuse me. 13 wow. points, man. Jeez. Hey, jeez. Hey, uh... This hey, hey. Is so good. Hey, that, uh, hurt. <laughs> uh, Alice, your turn. That's uh, it. Check. Make an intelligence saving throw. Can I also use my free action to determine their health? That's the uh, thing still Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make an arcane uh, saving throw. Or make an arcane check. Okay. You do oh. not determine the, the creature's health. I still check. I fail. Fail. So that is. Where's my dice roll? There it is. One d ten. Nine nice. points of psychic damage. And until my next turn, you have to roll. Uh, you have to minus the d four from your next saving throw. And then she vanishes. That she disappears Checkmate. so away. Yes. <laughs> God damn he was it. waiting to say that. Yes. Uh, I hope every single enemy falls to your check, honestly, dude. I just love him like throwing his hands up. Yes! Right after the <laughs> encounter is done. Yeah, I see a, Once I see, again. I, I see a merch opportunity with anime Al winking and snapping <laughs> his fingers saying checkmate. Checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, and she just howls and wails and, and vanishes. Uh, as soon as that happens, Shermer's going to douse his light and uh, emerge from the shadows. <laughs> it was you casting that apparition? No, Al. <laughs> I highly doubt it, Al. I'm going to examine the spot where she appeared and dissipated. Um, go ahead and make an investigation check. How am I doing at one HP? Like, oh God, you are like way? you pretty much have have this is if because this is probably your first time. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it, you thought you were you genuinely thought you were gonna die. Am I hurting right now? Uh, you are. Yeah, I mean, it's you could barely stand. Okay, cool. She's gonna uh reach out. To whatever's closest to her to like support her weight. Broadbush her immediately goes comes to your side. Aw. <laughs> uh, why? Uh, Eleanor, are you okay? Uh, fine. I'm fine. <laughs> and she looks around at her uh around some uh like her her her, her backpacks and, and she pulls out what appears to be this purplish red weed and she crushes it in her hand and she says uh, uh, take this and she holds it up to you uh, the taste will be do with it? swallow the taste will be uh. better but you'll be able to fight another day I wouldn't do that <laughs> she's gonna side eye at Eldora's and then kind of like do a mocking face and like eagerly and, take it and swallow and it. I'll look at the, the crushed flag to see what it was. Uh, see if you can determine what it is. Yeah, so go ahead and make yourself... Oh, Lord. Uh, hold on one second. I think I might have... Go ahead and... So there's a couple of things I need. First... <laughs> 
Uh, Eleanor, make a constitution mm -hmm. saving throw. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Uh, and go ahead and make an investigation check or nature check, Al. Oh, boy. Through nature. Okay. Um, so, uh, the orcs simply call it beautifully, uh, rage weed. Ah. And, uh, well, first, let me give you the good news. Uh, you heal for 17 health. Whoa! Wow. wow. Uh, it's fucking strong. And you yeah, are, and you are poisoned for an hour. Oh. oh. What does poison do to me? Uh, you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Okay. Oof. Yikes. Al is going to look straight to... Um, I I'm terrible with names. What's, what's your name? Brunbush. Brunbush. Yes. In uh, Orcish, he's going to say... Oh, shit. Do you have a, a bigger supply of that? I, and in Orcish, she said, I only brought a limited amount in case something were to happen. Oh, I see. Well, well met. Strength and honor to you. Uh, strength and honor. <laughs> and she, she grabs um. the middle of your arm and shakes it. <gasps> Ow. He kind of does it back, but like as if he studied the culture. Honor to you, brethren. Honor what? to you, brethren. Zug, zug. What? You what honor me with your language. Oh, I learned Orcish because it's quite cool, right? Yes. Great, that's wonderful. Am I going to die from the plant? Oh, no, that's just rage weed. Um, probably shouldn't have taken it, but I'm sure it can help you. I feel a little squeamish, but I, I do feel much better. Yes, so. not really meant for non orcish constitution. But <laughs> it will help you in a pinch. <laughs> I'm fine. I feel great. And she, like, sniffs it. I can doors. take it. In turns, <laughs> she yeah. uh, she says it. <laughs> she... I was gonna look straight to her and say, "In Orcish, humans." <laughs> and then, and then, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, uh, uh, Brunbush says in Orcish, "Very impressive." Oh, I thank you. I was talking about Eleonora. Oh. 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 Eleonora, you all you hear is Agapacha, Eleonora. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna like kind of turn her head as if she's like interested, but doesn't want to look interested as soon as her name is brought up. <clears throat> but... I am um, for anyone that doesn't speak Orcish. I like to think that Al looks exactly like he's speaking Klingon. <laughs> the same ah, motion yes. ever. Gotcha, bacha. Ah, <laughs> ah got <the> <laughs> God damn it, dude. Back um, to the important stuff, DM. Did I find anything in the wreckage of the <laughs> banshee? Uh, what was your investigation check? I got eleven. Uh, no, you don't. Damn it! The ground appears to be dusted. Um, did Gideon find anything in the pile with that twenty-two investigation? I'm uh, not letting anything slip, guys. Don't worry. Gideon did. He uh, returned. If, if assuming he returned back to the pile. Yeah. Uh, Gideon, you would have found, um, essentially a, a, a rough drawing of a, a, a map, kind of like two-dimensional and three-dimensional, that instructs a little bit, and all it says in the bottom, it says, uh, that, uh, it says Ginny, D-J-I-N-N-I, -N -N -I, and the location appears to be underneath the school. How did you spell it again? Uh, D J I N N I. Oh, Jin. Jin. Yeah, okay. Jin. Gotcha. Oh, Jin. Looks at yeah. DM. That's how you pronounce it. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I, no, I'm I'm sorry. I <laughs> have... No, I'm sorry. Hmm. Like you know, like I think Jimmy. everyone here is sorry right now. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. Um, but it has it with a uh, question mark. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I think I'm going to show it to Al, because Al seems to be pretty smart. Al, oh. can, can you is, make something of this? Is Tremor going to notice them? He, he, he had something to take somewhere from the pile. Uh, make a, what's your passive perception? Or you can make a perception check. Decently high. The passive perception is, oh, it's 11. <laughs> Very confident. Well, should I roll to have a look at this? 
Uh, you would notice that he would have taken something from the burnt pile. Okay. He's not going to do anything about it. But uh, keeping, and you can make an investigation out. check, Al. Ooh. It's a rough drawn map. Uh, mm, what appears map. to be someone's uh, attempt to try and find whatever this gin circle is. Seems to think someone wishes to find a gin beneath the school, maybe? Sherman's gonna... Uh, okay, well, I... After he says that, uh, Sherman will be say, What are you guys doing here? We could ask you the same thing. I asked first. We're trying to find our familiars. Obviously. In a library? Well, we're searching for answers. Sometimes it's the least likely place that's the most likely to search first. But kid, what are you doing here by yourself? Doesn't matter. Yeah, Everything's been burned. Yeah, it does. Look, what are you, what are you trying to do here? Let us in. We can help you out. You can't help me. I'd like to try. I don't know you. I could say the same about you. But we seem to be all in this together now. Would you rather do this by yourself or with a little bit of help? I think you might have a better chance with many instead of one, eh? Oh, you'll surely die without us. Absolutely. Um, hmm. He wipes away some blood from his ear. <laughs> from the scream? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not really. Um. All right, well, I came looking for answers, too. Well, let's just treat it like we're studying. Together. Mm -hmm. You guys find anything? Yes, a map. Gideon was very, very smart enough to find this amidst the pile. Let me see that. All right. Passes it across. I'll, uh, I'll share with them the note, the written note that I found. Hmm. Hmm. This was That's... in the same pile, Tremor? Yeah, it was. It seems that there's a, a secret about the catacombs under there. Whoever has been looking for this thing seems someone doesn't want them to find it, and I'm in a motion to the burned pile of books. I don't like it. It seems like we're gonna have to go back to the dungeon for answers. We gotta find it before the they do. A deeper dungeon. Perhaps there's a secret entrance. A chamber of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> this boy <laughs> looks at <like> camera. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, the, the DM will remember this. <laughs> uh, Tremor will ask, uh, have you guys found our familiars yet? Does it look like we found our familiars? Tremor. Oh. She's just kind of like, I... look at Eleonora with like a, like yikes sort of face. Hey. Does he it's react not. at all? Well, I mean, I think he's like, he's about to like give a retort and then he just kind of thinks better of it. It's like, all right, fair enough. Well, I have a good place where we can start. What, do you, what are you thinking? Where's the closest ocean to here? <laughs> I would know that. Wait, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the closest ocean here, DM? Uh, so the closest ocean would be, uh, you're over in Western Ishtar, <laughs> yeah, but you're also on top of mountains, so you'd have to descend down the mountains, uh, and head west over to the, uh, to the Brisbane ports. And how far away is that? Let me check the map. Let's check the map, shall we? Check the map. Check the map. Well, 
descending down the mountains would probably be a couple of days. And then to get to the ports would take about, on foot, two to three weeks. Does Tremor know of any teleportation circles or anything of the like in the academy? Or would know of them? Like uh, ways to get there fast? Ooh, uh, not of the academy. You'd probably have to do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, uh, 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 excuse me, a little bit of investigation mm -hmm. or inspection. Well, I would share with the others that Look, I can look through Otto's eyes, right? And when I did this morning, when we were woken up, I saw they were near the ocean. I heard seagulls, and Malcolm was there. Malcolm? Then Gideon gets all riled. Yeah. You remember the, the red-haired one, Gideon? <laughs> <laughs> I know who Malcolm is, Al. He, he has to be behind this. Well, Ow. I don't know, because he looked like he was hurt, too. What Whatever do you mean? This one else got him. He, he was all crumpled up and knocked out, looked like. Well, that's not good. Yeah. They were in some sort of ruins. Hmm. We'd have ruins to by the ocean. We'd ruins have to by the ocean. Ruins by the ocean. Can, when was the last time you like, saw is there, any, is there any like knowledge we'd have of that? Like how many books or any like stories or anything that we might have heard about of ruins by the ocean? Make a make an intelligence check. Straight intelligence. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or history. Or history. Or Arcana. History. I will leave oh, that to you. I'm a history. Got big rolling. My feet. Mm. No. So, Aldoris and Eleonora, you would know, uh, as far mm -hmm. as ruins near an ocean, and Tremor mm -hmm. floats up off the ground. His brain begins to swell. <laughs> <laughs> Gideon ponders. Uh, Eleonora, Aldoris, and especially Tremor, as you begin to think more of ruins by an ocean, and kind of the sound of where the, the, the waves are crashing in. It's, it, you recall, uh, Tremor specifically, you recall that the sounds appear to be coming from the east, not the west. Mm -hmm. And there is only one location that was by an ocean that is linked up with the Arcane Academy specifically. And that would be the old Academy that was destroyed about eh, about 50 about anywhere between 50 maybe 100 years ago a very long time ago it's very possible that the location that you spotted may have been that mm. the unfortunate part is it's on the a complete other side of the continent mm. and you're up in the middle of the mountains we could stay in that ship uh, I think Tremor would share. Shiz would look at Al that. with surprise. <laughs> uh, once for the test. <laughs> well, what about this mm. note? Yeah, if we find a djinn and we wish uh. to be teleported there, right? Would, oh, would that just work? wish for them back, Eleanor. That's not a very good use of a wish. I just Wishes want are very back. powerful. I know you want Osrin back. I want Lumi back. I want all of our familiars back. Look, we got to keep a level head. Not Otto. It seems that... Maybe not Otto. <laughs> <laughs> we sit under our breath. <laughs> oh, you're lucky I'm in mourning. Or I would be <laughs> uh, let's see. I think Tremor would say, whatever's going on, it's bigger than us. It seems that a lot of people there's a lot going on and it all just seemed to happen at once last night so we gotta be very careful who we let in and he kind of eyes up these two suspiciously what are you two doing here anyway um Shish just he's quiet for a moment he says 
Well, embarrassingly enough, you're the first thing and closest thing I got to friends. Both here and out of the academy. Seemed like you got good heads on your shoulder and... Well... The last... Time I saw... Nigel and Malcolm. Mm. I was... And now they're gone. And I was the last to see them. I'm afraid I might be involved somehow. I'd like to know for certain. And, uh, and me, Tremor, I feel like I'm obliged to go because Oswin <laughs> is missing. I, okay. I, I don't I think he was talking, talking to you. To you. <laughs> I look at the orc. Oh. Wherever Heather Nora goes, I go. She is my friend. And gently put, like, by gently in orc standards, r roughly it slams <laughs> oh, her geez. hand on uh, Eleanor's shoulder. Eleanor tries not to be shaken up by it, but is. And uh, oh, oh, she kind of just does, like, this shrug at Tremor, like, oh, you know, kind of best friends now. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like I missed a lot. Okay. When was the last time you saw Malcolm, Shish? Well, after the test. Both him and Nigel seemed pretty upset. What happened on that test? Uh, Malcolm was being a bully as usual. Said that Nigel shouldn't be in the academy if he doesn't even have a familiar. And that something was very weird about him. Meanwhile, I think Indeed. Malcolm... Meanwhile, I think Malcolm was still a bit hurt by the... The beating Gideon gave him the other day. I think he was just angry. Nigel didn't deserve it, though. It was not fun. Pretty quiet, honestly. Where did they go after the test? Back to the dorms, I'd imagine. You didn't go with them? No, I I, I sleep with you. Uh, in your dorm, I mean. Not with you. <laughs> <laughs> like directly. Put on your eyes, Cola. <laughs> You see, you see, gives him a weird look and just starts <laughs> walking. Well, if we are to go anywhere, I'd rather use a little line down first. You know, just an I, hour. I have, uh, I have some books I want to look into. Yeah. Let's go back to the living quarters for now and then we'll make a plan. Sounds good. Can Eleanora I... Brunbush, you coming? Gideon! Yeah. Uh, were you about to say something, Eleanor? Um, she's gonna ask if they could come to the boys' dorm because there's no. Oh, that's what he meant. By that's what he meant. Like you, you. Oh, okay, would... cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's. In... I have a whole room to myself. You can use mine. I, I'm ignoring the guy that lives that sleeps in <laughs> <laughs> my my roommate. He doesn't. He's not real. <laughs> yeah, he's to him. He's just a temporary, uh, <laughs> temporary fixture. Um. All right, so yeah, feel free to drag your your characters out. Okay. Go uh, in that room. Uh, go where? He doesn't want case, anyone by his stuff. <laughs> Actually, yeah, <laughs> Eleanor is gonna try to figure out which area is Aldoris's. <laughs> what are you doing? I feel like it'd be pretty obvious. Just like everything perfectly <laughs> labeled. Everything is. It looks like it, no one sleeps there. <laughs> I'm just looking around. This is so different from the girls' dorm. Smells like men. Smells like men. Yes, it does. Um, right. So do you. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> and, uh, oh. Brunbush would blush. <laughs> <laughs> Confusing. How are, are you? <laughs> and whispers, are you attempting a mating ritual with me? <laughs> he's, he's like having an anxiety attack. <laughs> Steve, Steve's like coming out of his collar like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eleanor is like super amused at this and is like trying to stifle laughter I don't know you very well Al let me think on it and then she walks back <laughs> oh my god oh it's so good he's like a, he's like a tea kettle <laughs> Uh, Eleanor he literally takes off his glasses and rubs the lens. El Eleanor, oh. at, as she's walking back, she looks uh, at Brunbush, looks at you, and just like shakes her head, like, no, it's not, not happening. <laughs> <laughs> she's just gonna kind of laugh to herself some more. 
about it. In here, Al. I'm here. I'm tell you something. Yes. <laughs> what was Sorry. that? He's trying to push <laughs> that chair away from his bed. Eleanor's oh, gonna oh, sit down on this chair and put her feet up ah. on his bed. He's just like <laughs> he runs. He moves back in. You can't sit there. Why not? I you said I could come in. No, not my room. Oh, you this is your move. room? Isn't this also Gideon's room? And... No, but you can't sit on that bed. Is this your not? bed, Al? It, it's a one unit. You can't. You can't Brunbush, sit. Brunbush, you should have a seat next to me. And then uh, she, <gasps> Brunbush sits on uh, on the bed. <laughs> Very comfy, <laughs> Al. Very comfy, Al. Thank you so much. You're so hospitable. You Thank know? you, Al. You're a real bad. <laughs> Tremor's gonna come up and try to grab out. I found a really cool book. I think you'd like it. I'm gonna try to <laughs> give him an out. <laughs> He's funny. He's quite amusing, yes. Fun to make fun of. I'm gonna give Al the, the book with the rune on it. This one I found in the library. It was locked with a rune. I th- since you're the smartest of us, I think you should try to unlock it. Oh, this will be quite simple. Okay. <laughs> well, let me have a look here. Sit down on this um, bed. Oh, so the rule doesn't apply to you? <laughs> yeah, no, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> have you said any of the other books yet, uh, Brett? I was going to read uh, some of them. Uh, and give another one to someone else, probably. So the I, there was the the I've got the contents of the rune. Um, if you open that book, I, I totally forgot to say the um, where you see the the book itself is sealed with a circle, and all you see is the word echo. Okay. Um, I will also hand over uh, Death's grasp. Ooh, is that that's, that's the ruined one? No, no, that's what you guys okay. found. That's what was also found in the pile. And I will hand Making Friends with Magic. If you read any of these books, it will take an hour. I would read the Making Friends with Magic one, and uh, I don't think I would. I wouldn't share Death's Grasp with anyone yet. I'd hide that with my Okay, so but you would read Making Friends with Magic. Yes. All right. Ooh, so uh, would I. I would, uh... uh I, I've... Yeah, I was gonna... Hmm, how's I gonna do this? Basically, Tremor wanted to hide these forbidden books until he knew who he could trust with them mm, um, okay. but I think once he started reading the once he re- like read to see what making friends with magic was he'd immediately think of Eleonora and think she he'd you know she would value this so I think after yeah. about an hour well I don't know what the other ones are doing so I'll wait to see what they're doing after okay. my first hour so, uh, this ruined book can I read that uh, so okay. it's sealed you can't seem to, to open it and when you do try and peek at the pages they're blank uh, all I, you, the only hints you're yeah. given is the word echo with a, a circle mm. underneath. It looks a lot like the uh, uh, the the book that taught uh, Howl and Fang. Not Howl and Fang. It looked a lot like the, that book that taught you uh, mm. Pack of the Wolf, where you had to draw the rune. Yeah, I did I'll, that one. I'll draw the rune. Can I have, can I draw the circle? Uh, yeah, you could you could attempt to draw a rune if you'd like. Yes. Okay. If he gets it wrong, is there like is only there one bo- try, or what's the? Is there a thing to go off of? Uh, you can draw it wherever. But is there like a book I I can go off of, or is it just am I just drawing it? You don't have uh, any books that you in your possession. So I'm just guess- guessing what it's going to look like. Uh, you okay, can, you can attempt it. Yeah, I'm going to guess it's like this. If it's an echo. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, what if it's like this? And it's loads of circles. <laughs> yeah, obviously, Al's better art than I am. Mm. Um, but a load of circles kind of going outward. Uh, as you continue to draw, nothing happens. Mm. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. Okay. This. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Like, sorry, like, sorry, like, sorry, 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 like a snail shell almost, uh, nothing happens, and one more time, like that, 
You do you recall a book in the library simply labeled Basic Runes, Volume 1? Oh! <laughs> Can I read that? Where's that? <laughs> in the library? <laughs> do we no one got it out? Oh. No one checked it out, no. Uh, Tremor's watching <laughs> Ow. And see if this, like, expecting him to just have it fixed. I can figure out a rune out here somewhere. Hold on. How about one of these? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Oh, you spent God an hour it. just scribbling trying to figure something out, and you don't. Nothing is figured out. No, I don't understand runic magic. I I put my hand out. Oh well. He gives it back to him. I need to have a lie down for an hour. <laughs> he just <laughs> lies in sadness. Oh. What's wrong, Al? Goes and finds a bed and just lies there in discomfort for an hour. Oh. Uh, do. Oh. She would immediately step off. You can sleep oh. in your bed, Al. Press the irritation to fix it up. Eleanor's then... still on it. <laughs> <laughs> that, he's gonna do a minor illusion of spiders all over her feet. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Am I gonna believe that? I don't know. Uh, make an insight I'm check. Trying... Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll or Ar here. Arcana. It's up to you. I'll do insight. Give okay. him a better chance. Oh, you, Twenty. You, you literally saw uh, Al <laughs> mutter under his breath, "Spiders, spiders." <laughs> <laughs> she, she's gonna. Move I her know, feet spiders. on phase. It's just gonna be like, oh, spiders, scary. Yes. You I should try your them. words out. Yes, they what? are. What? Good night, Al. And he, she begins to <laughs> tuck you in. She tucks you in <laughs> tightly with the blanket. Strangles him. Good night, he lies down. <laughs> Is that comfy, Al? Oh, yes. Would you like a good night kiss? Oh. From who? And she smiles a, a, a teethy grin. I'll have to turn you down this time. <laughs> hmm. You'll be back. And then she, she walks away. <laughs> I always come back. <laughs> oh, God. Eleanor, I've got something you might want to see. Oh. As he passes Gideon, he'll say, What do you want to do during this time? Do you need a rest? Do you want to get another book out? Uh, if I were to rest, it would probably have to be for a pretty long time. Um, I you think need a short I... rest. Yeah, and then I can roll my hit dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take a rest. Okay. Sounds good. <clears throat> All right, come here. And I'm going to bring her over to one of these study areas. Okay. And I'll show her this book uh, titled Making Friends with Magic. Okay. It should be in your inventory. Yeah, I'm going to try to learn it. So, Arcana? Yes, please. Yeah. And uh, I'll, do I get that advantage? Too, so. Yes, we so, both okay. advantage. Tight. Um, Do we have to trace this room? Is this a... Uh, No, no, no. You don't have to trace anything. You just uh, make it art. Yeah. You're, you're studying. Nice, 22. Uh, you've mastered the spell Charm Person. Hog. I will also roll. Charm Person. Learn. You have a fundamentary novice level of Charm Person, Tremor. Okay. So roll d20 to see if it works level. Yeah. Cool, that so I did really well. Yeah, this is uh, kind of her forte. What can I say? <laughs> oh, <laughs> how to manipulate people and yeah. break up your boyfriend in 10 days. Basically. Um, Charmer will say to her, I'll probably need another go at this, but just so you know, this stuff can be really powerful, so use it wisely. I, uh... Mm -hmm. I think we're going to need it pretty soon. Right. If things go the way they have been. Well, thank you for the warning. What is... So Shish walks in. What is, is he like 
checking out to see what we're doing or what? Yeah, he, he kind of he kind of walks in and because everyone else is uh, asleep, and Brunbush is picking her teeth, not really saying much. Uh, so Shish walks in and goes, uh, "So, uh, what are you two doing?" Can I try to charm Shish? Oh boy. <laughs> Use it wisely. Use it on the first person she sees. <laughs> uh, yes, you can. Okay. It's a wisdom saving throw, yeah? Yeah. Okay. 13 is the DC. It doesn't work because he's already friendly with you. Aww. Wait, is that it. true? Well, no, no, no. I, let, me, let me hold on. Oh. Give me a second. Give me a minute. I, ha I have other intentions. Not. That sounds wrong. I have <laughs> well, he fails. He fails. So okay, okay. <clears throat> okay. So he's charmed. What what happens? Uh, so he kind of like just shakes his head and he uh looks over at at you, Eleanor, and it's just like so. Uh, I feel like we haven't really talked much, Eleanor. I've usually been with the guys, and I'm sorry about that. I feel like I should uh, give you a little bit more attention as well. You must be going mm. through a hard time. Oh, yes. We're going through such a hard time. Shish, you weren't lying to us earlier, will you, were you? Hmm? About what? Um, you know, just about Nigel and Malcolm and uh, when the last time you saw them was. You oh. wouldn't lie to me. I know you wouldn't. Oh, absolutely not. I value each and every one of your friendship. I don't know what I'd do hmm. if I lost it. Hmm. Okay. And... Uh, is there anything else you know that you maybe forgot to tell us or omits about everything going on? Uh, no. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm scared. Very scared. Me too. He nods. She kind of resigns herself in defeat, hoping that he had been hiding something that she could get out of him. She looks to Tremor, like, nods and leaves the room. Tremor looks impressed, which is probably the first time he's ever... <laughs> looked like that to someone else and he said like seems you're a natural we're gonna need that in the future keep it up I try she just flits out of the room do you keep the charm up um <laughs> no once she found out there was nothing he was hiding she would drop it uh all right we'll come back in the room real quick when would you have dropped it as uh, she's walking out probably okay um Shish shakes his head like with a smile. I was like, "That Eleanor is a cool chick." <laughs> I didn't, never really thought about her like. And then a, a uh -huh. sudden realization comes over him, and he's like, "Ah." <laughs> One Trump second. Smirking at him. <laughs> uh oh. One second, please. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Consequences for my actions. <laughs> Hey, Elnora. Hmm? You, yes, uh... You try a little, uh... Little, little, little something something on me? I don't know what you're talking about, Shish. I simply asked you some questions. That's all. <sighs> don't... Don't lie. I know you did something. <sighs> Just... I wanted to make sure that we could... Was you. Oh? <sighs> And what? so she looks at Aldoris, kind of like wondering where he's going to go with it and lets Mine's him. the one that switched them, right? What? Oh, no. Oh, no. What? what um, wait, what are you talking about? Uh, Charm's going to run, walk like quickly right <laughs> oh towards Aldoris. Oh, my God. What did you say? Uh, why are you having a go? Eleanor! That wasn't her. What do you mean, why am I having that? What are you talking about? Eleanor cast a charm spell, okay? Look, we were studying. I I was That's just practicing, all. and, you know. Oh, a charm spell. Charming. Show you? I think he said yes. charming. Oh, I thought you said charming. Like, oh, like... No. <laughs> That's good, though. Well, I'm not going to waste another use of it. Uh, look. No. Look, Eleonora, all I'm saying is I forgive you. I understand things are troubling, but, you know. Appreciate oh. it if you'd let me know if you're going to use a spell on me. Tremor does not take his eyes off Al. 
<laughs> that's, all, that, that, that's all I'm saying. You get it, right? I do, but, you know, you did say not to trust yeah. anyone, so I was... I, I suppose. I was looking out. I, I, I suppose. I, I get it. I'm just... You wouldn't like it if someone yeah. cast a charm on you. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no one could pull that off. <laughs> uh, Shish would just look down, defeated, and just says, <laughs> "It's it's fine. I I I forgive you. It's just appreciated. Did you get everything you needed? I sure did. Thank you, Shish. Mm. And he walks back into the other room. Why are you staring at me, Trina? I'm gonna grab Al's arm and drag him out of the room. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's no resistance, no opposing check. He just, <laughs> just goes limp in this. I mean, he's 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 free. He's free to, you, but uh, it's it's all it. up to his character. To, yeah. There's the noise, Demro. We're going back to the library. Why? I don't answer. Oh, to get the room run. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to get the rooms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what is everyone else doing? Or do we go off to the library to see what everyone else... What, uh... Uh, Gideon would just want to ask Eleanor. Eleanor, when did you learn that spell? Oh, just a moment ago. Uh, Trevor had a book. I think it's still over there. No, he took it with him. Oh, what? shit. <laughs> oh, that's right. He's trying to keep the, the forbidden books in, in place. No, yeah. there's, there's, no, there's nothing over there, but I'll ask uh, about it when he comes back. You should. It's a useful spell. He's being very selective on who he's teaching forbidden stuff to, and I don't think he thinks Gideon would... Mm. Use your trust. next words carefully. What? No, Who's no. That? Not there. That was, that was nothing. That was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so the the janitor walks in. <laughs> God damn it. Dirty, yeah, dirty. I don't think he trusts Gideon enough right now to... Well, he doesn't trust he would know how Gideon would use the spell, you know, mm. versus he thinks he knows how Eleanor would use the spell. So he felt more comfortable teaching her it. Mm. More, at least more comfortable that Eleanor would keep the secret. She's right. also transparently manipulative, so it's easier yeah. <laughs> to let yeah. her... Which arguably is a worse decision to teach it to the <laughs> one that is, like, actively looking for ways to manipulate people. She hasn't wronged you yet. That's, that's true, so. yeah. Um, I guess, yeah. All right. He's, yeah. I'll I can explain my logic later. If no, be, no, 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 no. I, 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 get, I get it. I think everyone understands it as well. Uh, all right. So. Heading back to the library. Um, what are you guys doing here? Uh, oh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he was already here. But stronger. <laughs> okay, Summer. if we split up, we can look for the ruined book, but I'm not sure if Hush is going to be here to let us check it out. <laughs> Does he not he remember? He just kind of just stares <laughs> blankly at Al. You go find the book, I'll find something else. Okay. Um, I'm going to look for a book on the history of the school. Okay. Specifically, I'm, I'm looking for past headmasters and the name uh, Dimitri Valiansworth. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll an investigation check. We'll have you do that for an hour. I'm looking for the ruined book. Uh, the Yep. A lot of the books are, are there. Uh, labeled Book of Runes, Volume 1. Ah! How long is he investigation for? Uh, for an hour. Can I sit down and read that book for an hour then? Uh, I'll yeah. Just by paging through, all you see is actually, like, I'll give it to you right now. Yay! Ooh. It has four Ooh. pages. I see. Got it. Uh, 
Are you checking out her book? What? Oh, um, <laughs> yes, actually. The fuck? Hello, uh, hush. Um, yes, uh, 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 yes. Not many people are coming into the library today. Those poor students. Yes. Well, anyway, just the one. <laughs> Sit down on the, on the desk. Al Doras. Do you have books already checked out? Two per students. Oof. Mm. That's awkward. No. Oh! Whoa. Whoa. Make that what? deception check. What? It's minus run. It's automatically automatically roll one. Uh. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, His first lie ever. Whoa! Hmm. Seems to be a problem with the documentation. Uh, no matter. <laughs> and then she scribbles out the two books that was written for you. Holy fuck. All right. Your one book has been checked out. Basic Runes, Volume 1. You're free to check out another book if you wish. Oh, just the one. <laughs> Very good. He rushes off. <laughs> Sprinting. Sweating. To find Tremme. <laughs> Immediately <laughs> runs off. Kind of... <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? What? <laughs> I lied. You're growing up. <laughs> Actually, that's something I wanted to talk to you about, too. I, I'm i going to look around. Is there there's anyone? No, there's no one here except, you know, Madam Hush over in the corner. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> Creepy. Um, I'm assuming we haven't resolved my investigation check yet. Uh, yeah, so you find a charter uh, of the old academy uh, that brings up the headmaster, Headmaster Demetrius Valiansworth. Uh, I don't have an image of him, uh, but I can give you a description. He is a pale uh, man. Sure. Yeah, he's because you see a picture. He's a pale man with, uh, with white hair and red eyes, and he seems to be wearing a variety of crimson-like robes. With very long white hair. Is there any descript like description of his tenure, like what happened during his time and he uh, was if he, died he was the final all all that's mentioned uh in the book that you found is that he was the final headmaster of the uh of the Elven Academy of, of Eastern of Eastern Ishtar. Mm. Um there were some other notes written there, but they appear to be redacted as they've been scribbled over with ink. I, okay. Trimmer would keep that book with him and, and plan to bring it to this hush character to see her reaction to re the redactions. Um, but before that, when Al comes to him, he will step closer and in a really hushed tone say, I'm going to need to ask you something. Yes, I still do have two books out. <laughs> not that. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh. Well, I'm going to need you to lie for me. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell anyone about what happened in that dungeon, okay? With the buckets. Wait, what do you mean? That was one of your finest works. <laughs> no, it was a mistake. And I don't say that lightly. I never make mistakes. Tre Tremit, what you did there? That... That's fate. That's the purpose of the school. People die. It's... It was part of the test. If they... If it wasn't possible to move the, the buckets, then it wouldn't have been part of the test. But surely they had known that, that that was a possibility. You caused nothing. It was on them to check. Chimmer will think, well, by that logic, 
I believe fate can be changed. And I'm going to change this one, okay? He's looking down to see if there's like a knife or anything coming. <laughs> <laughs> you read too many books. Thinking, <laughs> noticing he's, plant, he's about to be stabbed. <laughs> Look, all I'm asking is you don't go sharing what happened. Not everyone might share your philosophy. I'm going to work to make it right. I'll do it my way, though. Just be okay with it. What's happened has happened. It's time to look to the future. I believe I can make the future better. But I need to do it discreetly. We're not and in a friends. position of power yet. Well, that's what I mean. I need to know if I can count on you. Well, of course. And despite the fact that you occasionally tease me, most of the time, I do believe that we are close. Oh my god, they, they found me. They found me. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you tell me? Who did you tell me? He puts the book into Trevor's hand and runs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Tremor will say... Yeah, I... Look, I'm sorry about that. I don't think I... You know, like, pauses. I don't think I really thought through the effect I had on people. But that's over now. I'm gonna do better. Oh. You can be a little mean, Tremor, but... You're one. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's start with this. And he pulls out the rune book. You think you know how to pop it open? Pop it open? I can unlock everything with this now. That's my boy. And I'm going to hand it to him. I got to go talk to the... You said Hush was in, right? That's right. I'll sit here, draw runes. Is she, uh... Does she look okay? And he's um... kind of like... He, he, like, tries to... Do a hand shape of a banshee, and then doesn't really know what he's doing and stops. <laughs> well, if it's any consolation, I always thought she looked undead, so I'm not sure. You know, Al, that was actually really funny. <laughs> I wasn't joking. <laughs> Tremor will just kind of walk off. <laughs> I'll be right back. He's just mm -hmm. drawing on a fucking carpet. <laughs> this is me drawing on a page. <laughs> no! It's not oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. I'll yeah, draw. while you're doing that, I didn't realize you were already drawing the rune. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Doing, all right, we'll do the rune first. Yeah, we're gonna do rune first. Oh, sorry. Is it was it the first rune I drew? Uh, I yeah. Go ahead and draw it again. I don't see another rune. I'll do that one. I'll do this. Look at the speed runing. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, dude. One of these over here. How about one of those? And one of these. What are you... Are you writing Echo? Wait, what? I see four... Are these letters? <laughs> no, no, no. I oh. see like four different symbols. Hold on. Let me... Let... Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm right, writing a symbol and waiting, rubbing it out. So, okay. Yeah. Unless that's not how that works. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So as you're trying to do that, it doesn't doesn't work that way. Let me study these a little longer while whilst he speaks to Hush. Okay. Uh Madam Hush is over there. Hmm. Yes, young Treba. Someone defaced oh. one of your books. I'm gonna show her the page with the markings on it. Let's see here. Mm. And, uh, what are you trying to do with this book, Master Trevor? I'm learning about this great academy and its history. Yes, it is quite wise. This was apparently scribbled through a long time ago. I apologize for that. I will 
destroy the book if you wish. I'd rather know what it said. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to check the... And then she s- stops for a pulls moment. Out her, pulls out her laptop. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. The digital PDF. I'll just email it to you. <laughs> she uh, she stops a little bit and then goes, Hmm. Ah, uh, ah, uh, hmm. <sighs> Unfortunately, I have... I fear this knowledge may be lost for now. I'm sorry, young Tremor. She hands the book back to you. Either way, you have two books checked out, correct? I'm going to put both books back. Ah, yes. Very good. Feel free to still check that book out if you wish. Do you have anything else on this uh... Uh, Elven Academy. She grimaces. Not anymore. What does he, What do you mean? Hmm. I simply do not have anything more on the topic. I'm sorry, Master Trevor. You, aren't you a library? Why don't you have any books on the history of this academy? Hmm. I don't wish to discuss the matter any further. It's too upsetting. Are you checking the book out or not? Oh, boy. I wish Eleanor was here. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, No, I'm okay. I'll put it back. And he just goes to where he found it. I thank you. I draw these two runes. On the side of West, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna leave it out a little bit, you know, like a little uh, so I can find it again easily. Okay. Uh, Did I make any progress? It looks like a I dog. I think I've got it. That's it. I draw the, that in there. The book unseals itself. Woohoo! Yeah. I take that. Smart lad. I'm gonna tuffle his hair. He put, <laughs> passed the book up to him. I'll uh, I'll read the book to you because I apparently did not make this book yet. Uh, Lost within the frosted tip of the mountains of Ishtar, a wandering knight walks through the frostlands. His blades sheathe, the motionless and frigid, like the cold lands around him. Greet this knight as a friend, and he'll echo a friendly introduction. Continue to speak, and their voice may change. Some say the voice is sound of a man, others a maiden. Hundreds of voices resonate from this being's plate, mostly friendly introductions. It isn't until it is too late do you realize this fiend is copying the tone of those it had felled by its blade. The Howl Knight has not its own voice. It could only mimic others like a well-trained raven. Engage it in battle. The tones resonate something more fearsome as it emanates the screams and death wails of those it had slain. The final sounds every uttered, ever uttered from its victims. Beware the Howled Knight. It is not a kind traveler. And it gives you the ability to learn the spell Seek Howl Knight, which is a level two ritual. Mm. Oh, shit. Which allows you to try to, an attempt to find the Howl Knight. And this is the knight that resides around these mountains? Uh, that's what the book mentions. Okay. Uh, the spell, just to read this real quick to give you a better understanding. It's a ritual spell with concentration up to 24 hours. The ritual requires you to know second level spells. As part of the material cost, you will need a full plate helmet. After completing the spell and wearing the helmet, if the Howl Knight is within 10 miles of you, you can hear the chime of a bell within the helmet. The chime of the bell will repeat more frequently the closer you are to the Howl Knight. If you are within a mile of the night, the helmet will echo a symphony of church-like bells. The ritual may be dismissed earlier. That's sick. Okay. Charmer will look to Al. You down for a hunt? There's more than that here. What? I know how to find our familiars. Uh... Tremor will 
Elf. Elf. Black. Is he drawing the rune for elf? Mm -hmm. This is oh. Bree, by the way. Bree's. Bree's. Work this out. <laughs> no, you don't have to. <laughs> no, Bree, work this out. I can't Clever take credit. Clever Al. Al. Yeah, Al. Oh, where did Shuttle it? take so lessons from Al? Wait, did you draw yeah. it somewhere? Me? Yeah, I drew it right next okay. to us. No, I'm, I'm waiting to see. Yeah, so. Or it's uh, it's from the written note. Deep underground in the circular room, the yeah. elf shall guide you. And the rune book has E and LF in it. So. It might just connect, though. It might do this. Ah. Circular yeah, room is also where the gin is. She's very that's clever. The, that's, that's the uh, that's where the riddle's for. That's yep. the symbol for elf. You draw that in that circle. Yeah. We need to find the deep underground circular room. Though. Yeah, it's like we have our our marching orders. Yes. Um, Let's get back to the troops. <laughs> lead the way, commander. He needs a hand up because he's stuck on the ground. Yeah, I'll help him up. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, you return back to the room. Get in. Stumbles over a bed. Get in. <laughs> We've done it. Al, oh, what have you done? Elf. Elf? You uh, did, you did an elf? <laughs> yeah, we're all proud of them. No, he's... <laughs> he's, uh... He's now our resident rune scribe. <laughs> really? I'm thinking freeze real life smarts. <laughs> Don't need to catch the trait. You should I do to learn a thing or two, out. Eleonora. From his <laughs> 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 Tell me more. What do you say next? <laughs> He puts on the ground the book. See here? This, we did echo. You have to draw the symbol like this. Elf! Elf in the room! The circular With the circle! Room. Remember mm. that writ written note? Yeah, You used the rune symbol for elf. I believe that's how they teleported to the Elf Academy. That's the name <laughs> of the academy that uh, the old one that was it. <gasps> it. Imagine that, but in a coherent sentence. Well, <laughs> where is this... Underground circular room. I mean, how are you going to find that? Beneath the sand. The sand? Oh, no, wait. maybe. Probably underneath the, the academy, I would think. It's in the dungeons, yeah. Oh. There's going to be a secret entrance that will lead us to a circular room that will lead us to a teleportation device that puts us over in the Alpha Academy and we'll find our familiars and get home in time for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's dinner time, Alf. No! Too out of whack! <laughs> it sounds like we have a plan. Well, my, my internal clock. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think we should do? Well, we have to head underneath the academy and look for the Exodus, Exodus Labyrinth. Mm. Does everyone feel well enough to do that right now? Well, we could sleep oh, for no. a day, I suppose. We don't well, we can, have a well, day. Well, we can Wait, go well, now. <laughs> or we go to bed now and in the middle of the evening we descend down to the dungeons while no one's looking can't believe I'm going to say this but I agree with Shish <sighs> and I agree with Tremor and I, Aldoris we all look to give it Gideon <laughs> <laughs> and I, Eleonora <laughs> <laughs> I look to Gideon it, it doesn't feel right waiting, but uh, it does sound best. Well, oh damn it! So it's settled. <sighs> I'll I'll so be then... I'll be joining you as well, and I you. Hmm. I guess we'll save the Hollow Knight for another uh, another another night, huh? It, the what? I looked to Al. Looked to... <laughs> You've got it, friend. Oh, oh so fucking Gideon, cute. second best friend. Uh, he, he's he's uh, not as cool as me. <laughs> Gideon climbs in bed and just sits the other way. Gideon's, oh. Gideon, Gideon's laying on his side, back oh. still to Al. Oh, oh, that's wow. Well, oh. and on that, uh, we shall end session four of the Arcane Academy. Yo, productive. Ooh. Very productive. Definitely. I told you it was gonna be a it was gonna be a session, all right. So, well, guys, 
thank you so much. Looks like we got a adventure for session five as you return back into the depths of the uh, Arcane Academy's dungeon, where hopefully you will, may find this circular room that you seek. Have Have you figured out the solution to the puzzle? We will find out. Yes. Yeah, no, that's we'll, it. We'll, no, we'll we find did. out. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out session four. Yeah, no, that's it. Session Chat, that's it. By the way, Chat, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out session five. We're gonna find out session five. So, oh um, so thank you guys so much uh, for those that are sticking around for the uh, the the after session podcast. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. All good. right. Bye, bye, guys. I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Say, say bye, bye to bye. Chat. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye Chat. Bye, chat. Oh boy, what? I'm gonna let this music continue to play a little longer because this is the feeling of it. Oh my gosh. Well guys, thank you so much for participating. Um, I saw a couple of mentions in chat. I really wanted to bring this up before we end the session. Uh, a couple of people have mentioned or have been disappointed at uh, poor Ellie's death. Uh, I do wanna let you guys know that that was not a planned death, that Ellie wasn't meant to be a problem. I'm actually very sad that she perished. Um, I had a lot of plans for her and I, I really wanted her to be an amazing character, but actions do have consequences, unfortunately. And I, for a little insight, uh, I had a table, a D20 table where I was going to have Kraken roll and depending on what he rolls it would have been the after effect of that. Unfortunately, with a one that was the the worst where no one made it no one survived and he rolled the one which i i too was also i was crushed i was pretty hurt as well so i don't want anyone feeling that i was marginalizing someone that was disabled because that um i first of all i would never do that um and second of all whether disabled not disabled whatever background everyone has a fair shake a fair chance uh, within the world of my D and D games, so uh, yeah, just wanted to go ahead and make that mental note for those that were disappointed because I too uh, was disappointed. But I don't know. I, I'm actually curious. We'll find out. We'll see what um, Trimmer has in store because I'm curious if this is the the last we're gonna see of uh, of Ellie or not. So and it's, yeah, it's D and D. Anything could happen, you know. That's just part of the story. It's just, and it's, that's why I love D&D so much is that it's anything can happen. Literally anything can happen. So, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, really do appreciate, really do appreciate that. Just be a cleric, man. Well, keep in mind, uh, there is no resurrection in this world. We live in a world of, we live in a, a, a world of, of permadeath which is absolutely terrifying. You know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, I'm going to talk more with the, with the, the crew and see how they're doing. Uh, looks like we may have lost some frames. I apologize if there's been any buffering today. I don't know what's been going on with that. Uh, so with that being said, with that being said, we will continue this next Thursday, 7 p.m. EST, 4 p.m. PST. If you're looking for more Dungeons & Dragons, this Saturday is going to be session two of The Misdemeanor, where we're going to be continuing our story with, with Dodger, with The Completionist, with Dookie Shed, and with Super Shiggy as they continue their pirate-like adventure. That one's going to be at 4 p.m. EST, 1 p.m. PST. Uh, I also wanted to go ahead and take a moment uh, to thank everyone that has uh, contributed to the Patreon so far. Thank you guys so much for that. Head on over there right now to support the Patreon. You get early access. You get some cool access to things, including MP3 of the uh, of the session 24 hours after. Usually it's going to be at 12 p.m. tomorrow, uh, 12 p.m. EST. Uh, the MP3 of the, the session will come up. A podcast where I talk to the players afterwards to kind of get their thoughts and what they're doing, everything like that um uh, also uh early work in progresses of arts uh as well as high uh high definition of art hd art uh game assets including maps game mechanics all that all that fun stuff you know 
uh, and, as well as some other higher tiers that actually allow uh, patrons to create NPCs for the world of IO. So uh, we completed our first goal. We broke past 20 patrons. Thank you guys so much for that. Really do appreciate all of that. Uh, and I think we are 71% uh, of the way to our new goal, which is going to let us hopefully hire some people to work on work on maps, like actual maps that we're all can enjoy of the world to continue to flesh out this world. So uh, check out check it out. The Patreon has helped out this campaign so so much. So thank you so much for that as well. Thank you to uh, everyone as well who has subscribed today, along with Twitch Prime. Let me go ahead and give a quick shout outs to Mountain Dreams for the Twitch Prime for 34 months. Voice Box for the Tier 1 sub for 5 months. A Leaping Lizard for the Tier 1 sub for 19 months. Uh, and uh, Katoava for the Tier 1 sub for 23 months. Thank you guys so much for that. Also, you guys can subscribe with Twitch Prime. Do me a favor. Check to see if you have a Twitch Prime available. If you do, uh, use that Twitch Prime. Hit that subscription. Also, I want to thank our level 50 plus patrons. Uh, Link Zoramaj. The Hug Hunter and Julia Shark for being big patrons over on the Patreon and really supporting this. So... Thank you guys so much. So this is the first episode I've seen this RPG. Some context. Uh, head on over to the VOD channel right over there. Uh, you can go ahead and watch the full series now over on the VODs. Uh, we won't be doing any recaps of previous episodes over here in this aftermath. So, all right, guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we will be back uh, for our next D&D game this, uh, this Saturday with the misdemeanor at, at uh, se uh, 4 p.m. EST, 1 p.m. PST. Uh, real quick... I'm going to see who's doing what. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and raid Whoops today. Whoops is going to be over at our third game, which will be in a couple of weeks, uh, which is called All King. So stay. there'll be some news next week about All King as well. So give Whoops some love. Drop that Brett to you love over in chat. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys the next time. Uh, bye-bye.